If, to try to summarize, you, what you taught us we need to do today is that, all right, within the heart that corporeality overcomes, we need to insert a yearning for the Creator into there by force. Of course, of course. Wasn't that clear from previous lessons? Well, okay, so today we're emphasizing that. So this is clear, right? Yeah. Could you please define this thread that I tie to the Creator, that I stretch to the Creator? What is it? It is the force of my longing which is aimed towards Him, from me, from my heart, to Him. Who is to Him? I don't know. But there is some, let's say, object, some discernment, a spiritual discernment, so that I can say, this is how I envision the Creator, and then I tie myself to Him. Later on, we will start to think, what does it mean to Him? Whom am I tying with? It's the force of the good who does good. I can truly tie myself with Him? Yes? By what equivalence of form? What kind of equivalence of form is there between me and him? This uh, thread is an infinite thread. Well, there is some connection, but it's a connection that he created, he built it to me. And that I seemingly connect with him, but I don't connect with him. If I want there to be a connection so that I will feel that I'm connecting with him, I need to be in some small um, quality attribute that resembles him. How can that be? How can I do that? And here, I need to realize that I have to focus all of my forces on the connection with the Ten. And as much as I through the ten, restrict myself as much as I restrict myself. You know what the camera obscura is, yes? Photographic uh, chamber that they used to make once where you put your head in there and you look and usually you see the image upside down and the opposite way. The uh, old uh, photo camera, photographic camera. So what happens? How do they reach that? How do they come up with it? So it's a simple thing. If you have a wall and in that wall you make a small slit and here you have a wall, then what they found out is they discovered that if you have a wall here and a small slit, then through this uh, wall, you can uh, pass a beam of light. That beam of light, when it comes, it comes from here or it comes from there. So it doesn't arrive in such a way that it goes from here to here. There is no such thing because the, that uh, ray of light is straight. So it reaches in the opposite way. So what you see here, what you see here, here you will see it in the upside down manner.